Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Adrienne from Blessings for the Bards. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys like a makeshift laundry room or something like that. I don't know what exactly what to call it, but um, I live in a townhouse and the townhouse that I live in, we don't have a washer and dryer, but like right across from us, the laundry where we do our laundry is like a few steps from our house. But for a long time, I've been wanting to invest in like a portable washer and dryer. So thanks to God, we finally were able to invest in a portable washer and dryer. And so, sorry, that's Gian in the background. So I was able to find a spot in my house and that's where I put the um, washer and dryer. But I wanted to decorate that area to make it look more of like a little laundry space or something like that. So that's what I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. I'm going to start off first by sharing with you guys and showing you what the uh, washing machine looks like, what the dryer looks like, and then the stuff that I uh, got that I'm going to be using to decorate. So let's hop right in. I'm so excited to show you guys this. If you are new to my channel, my name is Adrian. I'm a wife and a stay-at-home mom of three, Jalen, Jordan, and Gianna. On my channel, I post cleaning motivation. I post grocery hauls. Um, I post cooking videos, all different types of things, motherhood related and lifestyle related. If that is something that you're interested in, please make sure to give me a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell so you will not miss any videos. But I want to jump right in and show you guys the washer and dryer um, that we picked up all right guys so this is the washer that we picked up this is like a RCA 2.1 cubit units or something like that um, washer so it's like half the size of a normal washing machine it has tons of space in it I actually have a load of clothes going in there right now but it has tons of space in it and it also has all these different settings. Um, you know, you can soak, wash, rinse, spin. You can do even delay. So if I don't want to start it until in the morning, I could delay it for hours or minutes. Um, the load size, large, medium, and small, hot, warm, and cold. And then you can do different types of loads, normal, quick, heavy, bulky, delicate, spin only. And then also you can lock it so that kids cannot touch it and then also do an extra rinse. So this is the washer that we got. We actually purchased it off of walmart.com. It came packaged very well and it is very spacious. So it can fit a lot in here. Um, but let me show you the dryer that we also picked up. This is the dryer that we picked up. This is a Panda 3.5 dryer. So on the inside of this dryer, it's actually very spacious as well. Since the washer is much smaller than the dryer, a lot fits in the dryer. That circle back here is where the lint goes. So you just take it off to clean the lint. And this is where you just control it. You can do cool, hot, air dry, eco mode, normal, sensor dry, and a timer. Um, and it dries really hot. It gets really hot. I haven't had any problems <clears throat> with it getting too hot for the house or making the house too hot. So that's a good thing. Uh, the only thing other than that is just hooking it up to a little vent, which is sitting right there. I didn't really want to sit the vent right there because I didn't feel like it was uh, appealing or, you know, whatever to have it sitting right there. But you have to do what you have to do. But yeah, so this is how we have everything set up. This is the area where we have it sitting in right next to our kitchen. If you see these little um, tubes right here, that is where the water, so it's connected to the sink. The washer is connected to the sink, and so you just turn on the water, and then the water flows through that uh, gray tube into the washer. Or no, I'm sorry. The water flows through the black tube into the washer, and the water drains from the washer into the sink with the gray tube. So I just have them sat up here like this. And this is the drain hose. And this is the tube that the water goes uh, into to fill up the washer. So, so yeah, guys, that's the washer and the dryer. Um, I did pick up a lot of stuff to decorate this area. So I'm going to show you guys what we picked up to decorate the area. And 
I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'm going to bring you guys along with me while I get it situated. I'm going to show you before and afters. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and share this video with anyone. And yeah, guys, let's jump right into showing you guys what we picked up for our little, little laundry area. So some of the stuff that we picked up is this all i'm going to start using powdered laundry detergent and the only reason i picked the powder laundry detergent was because i thought it would look really nice in the little glasses that i picked up so i picked up this all laundry uh powder i got two of these then i also picked up two containers of this oxyclean free it's stain remover so i picked up two of these um i really like that it's free because it has no dyes and perfumes because that stuff whenever the laundry detergent has dyes and perfume it makes me itch really bad so i'm glad this was uh free of dyes and perfumes so i picked up two of these the next thing i picked up was some of this drift um it's for to put in the washer it's like in wash scent booster i picked up two of these and i got it in the baby smell so that all of our clothes can smell like a baby because you know babies smell really really good so i picked up some of these i picked up two bottles i also picked up some laundry sanitizer i'm not exactly sure what container i'm going to put this in but i did pick up one of these um i heard that these were really good i'm hoping that i'm able to just put it directly into the washer i'm not even sure i didn't even read it yet but um i really want to try this laundry sanitizer and then off of amazon i picked up these little scoopers to go inside of where I put the laundry detergent and to go inside of where I put the OxyClean and just so that I'm able to scoop it out easily and add it into the washing machine. So I picked up three of those. I probably will pick up another jar to put like the scent beads in, but I'm not sure. I got three of these, so we'll see. And then from Target, I picked up this um, big glass jar. I'm going to put the laundry soap in here and then i picked up this medium sized one to put the oxy clean in here and then also this little shelf is what i'm going to be using to sit everything on so i'm hoping that i'm able to get this really secure to the wall so that i can put this on there um, i also from amazon picked up some of these uh, dryer balls i'm not sure if i'm going to use these or not but i did pick some up and these are like dryer filters for the dryer just to change the filter. So this came, this was from Amazon. It came with a pack of eight or something like that. And then lastly, I also picked up this uh, from Walmart. And I was actually thinking about putting the dryer sheets in here. So that's everything that I picked up to decorate the area. So let's start decorating. We break, make it seem like we feel the same. We love what we had. We lie, but we know we can't wonder what doesn't grow. Give up, let it go. But we fell apart just in time. At least it was worth the try. At least it was worth the try. At least it was worth the try. I drive from your place 
This sign is also another thing that I got that I didn't show that I'm going to be hanging somewhere in this area. It says, be kind, be honest, be thankful. So we're going to hang that somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where yet, but let's figure it out. At least it was worth a try Um, so we just got back from Burlington and I picked up a few more things to go in the laundry room area. So um, let me show you guys some of the things that I picked up. Okay, so I got this little sign. It says, when prayers go up, blessings come down. My husband picked that one out. I got this and I think I'm going to use this to put the scent beads in for the washer. And I also got this plant, but I'm not going to keep this plant like this. I'm actually going to take the leaves out because we bought a bigger plant right here. And we're using the bigger plant to uh, fill this little area over here. So I'm going to use the smaller plant to fill in the sides. 
of this plant and then I'm going to add the scent beads into there and yeah so let's do this Alright guys, so this video is coming to an end. I'm so happy to be able to share this space that I have put together for my laundry room with you guys. I'm so thankful to God for blessing our family with this portable washer and dryer and allowing us to be able to make this space really nice in our home. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget, it, forget to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure that you also leave me a comment down below. And I thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content and also turn on your notification bell. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. You guys all stay blessed, stay humble, stay doing the will of God. Peace. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and what.